Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back for another video. Today, we're going to share with you our top favorite app for Android Auto. We have three on the list, but there are more applications that you can download so far. Third party applications are concerned. These can be downloaded in the Google Play Store. All right. So with that being said, let's get started with this review. Let's get started with this. Now, I got three applications that I love more than any other application on here, but I got more applications that's on here that I do like. Now, if you didn't know, you can download third party applications to your Android Auto. I'm going to leave the link in the description box down below for you guys to go take a look at the different applications. And all these applications are going to be able to be downloaded out of the Google Play Store, except for one. And that's going to be AAAD, which is the first application. Uh, that we're going to talk about. I'm going to leave the video link and also the link to actually go download this particular application, which is my number one application. So if you guys don't have Spotify, go ahead, download Spotify. It's worth it. I'm not being sponsored by Spotify, but it's the number one streaming app out there. I love using it. I can listen to music, comedy on the road trip. I could also listen to podcasts. If I'm into podcasts, I pay 10 extra dollars to get rid of those pesky ads. And I can also customize my search a lot better so far as music is concerned all right so with that being said let's go ahead let's start this off oh i forgot if you haven't gotten your popcorn your milk and cookies your pizza go get it i don't know how long this video is going to be but i want you to be comfortable watching this video all the way through to the end okay now the first application that i love is going to be car stream car stream is my favorite application i downloaded it aside with the uh Pomata auto now this comes from aaad which is android auto uh application downloader again as i said before i'm going to leave the link to that for you guys to go ahead and download that application and i love this because i'm into youtube I do research on YouTube. I love watching YouTube videos and CarStream gives me exactly what I need. I'm going to tell you the difference between the two and why I choose CarStream uh, as my favorite. Now, as this loads up, right, I love the setup of this YouTube, right? It looks the same as if I was on my smartphone or on my desktop at home. You got home, explore, shorts. A subscription you got your library you got your search here the mic is a hit or miss so most cases you may have to type it in i can go into my stats and my information about my youtube i got my youtube channel i can switch accounts i can go to youtube studio which is nice i can sign out i could also change the appearance and if i tap on my channel uh which i like i could go here and i could see all my videos that i have done now, I like the fact that the, the video shows fluently, so you're not going to have to worry about that. But these are all the videos I've done. Now, this one here, I just recently done. Thanking you guys for pushing me over the edge with the 4,000 watch time hours and the 1,000 subscribers. I finally got monetized. I want to thank you guys for that. We got more awesome content coming your way. Trust and believe. But as you can see, these are my videos. But what I like about it is if I hit home, It'll take me right back to my home screen where all my videos that I normally search for are going to be there, plus new ones that have just come up, which is nice. So now I've been checking out Tesla videos to get a jump start on the Cadillac Lyric, right? So uh, here are all my videos I've been watching about getting monetized. But these are all the videos that uh, YouTube thinks that I would like, right, which is nice. So if I want to go to watching Tesla videos, just tap there, it brings it up. I'm not going to tap on any videos because of copyright issues. I just got monetized. I don't want no trouble. But you all get what I'm coming from with this, right? But that's not the whole highlight of this. What I like about this is if I want to go on the Internet, I can. I'm going to tap search, and I'm just going to put in one letter. I don't know why this is. It's weird. It won't let you type in the whole thing and then just go to that web page tap on the search bar the search icon and it brings you here so if you want to look up starbucks right let me go ahead and uh uh what i put in starbucks right so if you type in starbucks because the mics are hit and miss right i can type in starbucks and it's going to pull it up so if you're looking for information on a theme park on your road trip or you're trying to find restaurants or if you're just simply looking up information you can do this here this is nice check this out i can go to the actual website i can get directions uh, as well. This is absolutely awesome. Now, I don't know if you can order from here, but if you can, definitely this is super awesome. And of course, you can get the times, you can get the menus, everything you're looking for that you will find on a number on a normal computer. 
and or on your smartphone, you'll find the same thing here. And this is what makes this so awesome over Fermata Auto. Now I hit home, sc home screen and it'll take me back or if I had to hit back, it would have took me back as well. But this to bring you back home to your YouTube channel, which I thought was really, really nice. Now, uh, here's Fermata Auto really quick, right? And I like the setup of CarStream a lot better because it looks like the YouTube that I'm familiar with on my smartphone. But if you tap here, it'll bring up the YouTube. You still get your same videos. You can search videos as well. As you can see, the little icon is over there. But what I like about this one, if you get movies on your smartphone, you can watch movies right off of this application, which is definitely nice. All right. Remember, all the information you need is going to be in the description box down below. The other one I like, right, is the family page. Now, this isn't a third party application, right? This is actually on your phone. Uh, you go into it so far as the settings are concerned. I did a video on that one as well. I will leave the link uh, for that about how to customize it. And it'll give you all the information you're looking for so far as family page. But what this is, is that I can page home, like with the uh, Google Mini and the Google Home in my house, I can page the wipe if I don't want to get on, on the phone. I want to focus on the road. Tap here. What's the message? Tell my wife I'm on my way. So I like that. So it's a broadcasting system. Now, if you want to open up a garage and do some other things, you can do that. Whatever you have tied into your Android, uh, your Google Home or your Google Mini, you're going to pr pretty much be able to do here, which is awesome, right? So that's the second application that I like. And then I just found out about Waze, right? And I love Waze. It is a, a Android app. Kind of in a sense, right? And I know you're thinking, you're like, hey, well, why don't you go ahead and download Android uh, Auto's uh, maps? I like Android Auto's maps, and I use that one for, like, long road trips. But what I like about this one is, is that the information is bigger, right? That means I can see it a lot better. Now, this application I pretty much use when I'm driving around the city. Uh, it lets me know uh, if there's police out there. There's a community that puts this information in. If there's... um. Road construction, you'll see that there's so many things uh, that this offer that I thought was nice. So if there's heavy traffic on the road, you can see that. If you need to do a, make a detour, you can make a detour. You can put in crash. You can do these things to alert people that this is what's happening at this particular uh, site. And therefore, they're aware. Check this out. So if you tap this, you can hit visible, hidden, and other. I haven't went into other, but I thought that was actually also. Same thing with traffic. You can go to traffic, you put moderate, heavy, uh, standstill, uh, the same thing for crash, uh, map issues, and hazard. Like, you can put in, like, there's bumps in the road, right? Which I, I thought was nice, right? I came back off a road trip, and it showed me that. So you can go into the different information, and it'll let you know what you could do. And this is why I like Waze, right, compared to the Google Maps on uh, Android Auto. Uh, but more than anything, I like it because it shows the information on the map a lot bigger. Um, the small information on the Google Maps are really small. I wish Google changed that. But this is why I like Waze, right? Waze is actually nice. And you can put in home, work. You can save places that you've been to. You can go into gas stations. And so if you want to go to Speedway, you can go to Speedway. Uh, you find out the prices. Uh, you can hit go and you can navigate. You can even make a phone call. I thought this was pretty nice. Oh, let's not do that. As you can see, here's the phone number. So let me go back. So Waze offers a lot of features that I find to be convenient to have. As you see, it gave you all your information so far as uh, your phone contacts and information, which I did not know. I just found this out. So this is why I like Waze, you guys. But do me a favor. Hit me in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts on Waze. Is it an application that you would download to add to your Android Auto? Or are you going to continue to use the Google Maps that you use on Android Auto already? All right, you all, that's going to be it for this review. Sorry it was so long, but I really wanted to explain why I like these applications so much. There are more applications that you can check out. These are some of the ones that I've downloaded. Remember, I am going to leave the link to more third-party applications that you may like. And with that being said, hit the like button. 
smash that notification bell and don't forget to subscribe. And I'm going to see you all again at the next video. Enjoy life, have some fun, and remember to remember you all, be safe.